fun. Yeah. Bingo actually got me through like the first couple months of the pandemic. Really? I started doing bingo online with this band from the East Coast called the Town Heroes, who are awesome dudes. And they just started doing this online live stream bingo, I think maybe once or twice a week. It was amazing. Wow. How do you do that? Because yeah. it's... It was just like a yeah. live stream. You would, you would, I think there were only, at first, I think there were only like 200 cards available, but they all got taken. And so you'd have your card, your designated card, and he would just like get on there and he'd like, you know, have a couple drinks and just like do the bingo roller. The bingo machine, and they got, yeah. they got more and more tech involved. It's funny as it got like more and more popular, there were like, um, I think like a thousand people watching at one point, a couple what? hundred for sure. And just That's... like, it was, it was legendary. It was so good. Just like rolling the bingo and then they'd call it out and everybody would just be in the chat. Like, like ah. I think it was like Facebook live, but it was yeah. amazing. And like me and a bunch of my friends who we weren't able to see in, in Toronto or abroad, we would just like chat back and forth on the thing and like, like send each other pictures of the bingo. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually like amazing. a really, that's awesome. That's a mm. genius idea. That'd be like a good fundraiser idea, Mark. See, we oh, could yeah. we yeah. should do something like that—a Facebook Live bingo thing. We can have somebody like Sky call in numbers for us. I anytime. As as we shoot the shit, and then we can like raise a little bit of money to like put on a concert or some shit like that. Holy yes. crap! For Moose Fest. Moose Fest. That, this is a good idea. I I really like it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Anytime. I'm gonna write that shit down right now. I will guest bingo draw any day of the week. Okay, so. Like, and then it was cash prizes or what? No, I think what were the, they kept what it would simple. Uh, they kept it simple. First, they had, like, their own merch, which was really sweet, um, like, CDs and stuff. Oh, yeah, but yeah. then yeah. they started getting, like, sponsors around because uh, they're from, I think they live in Dartmouth. Uh, so they'd get sponsors from, like, all around Halifax and that. And so they would, like, you know, mail stuff out to everybody. And yeah. It got uh, cooler and cooler. Yeah. Oh my God, this, I, yeah. uh, this is such a, <laughs> I, my wheels are just uh, turning right now. I yeah. really like this idea. I, I, I think can, this would I be can something see that the, we can get behind in the new year. I can see the twinkle <laughs> in Joel's eyes right now <laughs> because he heard yeah. sponsorship. He goes like, what? Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, sure. the possibilities are endless, really. Oh, it's, it's so good. We could end, oh man, you bet. I love that idea. Yeah, it's very, very good. And like my like my uncle heard about it and he started doing uh, bingo at like for the curling club on live stream, right? Because he kind of runs the curling club in Whitby. I, so why haven't we thought of this before? I I don't know. I re, do you I, Mark? Were you around when like was it CBC or CTV? I might have been CTV. There was like a, a bingo, a televised bingo. Like we had Farmer Vision, right? So like five and nine or whatever those channels were. And the, <laughs> yeah. the Prince Albert station, I think it was every Sunday, there was like a half hour program where they would do a bingo. So you could buy your cards at like Safeway, Co-op, whatever, whatever. And then on Sundays, they would do a little a bingo thing on TV. And when you would win, you'd call in. But it was cash money. Yeah. And we'd, we'd have to check into a lottery license and shit like that. I don't know. Well, I think that. there's a loophole with bingo. I bet. I bet there's there? a bunch of loopholes. I think. There's definitely a loophole. I know raffles are frowned upon. Well, like 50-50 right. tickets, if the cash prize is, I think it's like a thousand bucks or less, you do not need a license for the tickets. But if you exceed a thousand dollar payout, then you need like the Saskatchewan liquor and gaming license on the tickets. Mm. So okay. you could do you could do like a hundred separate fifty fifty draws at like five hundred bucks a piece. You know what I mean? So that's what right. the loophole there is. Okay, I, I I'm putting you in charge of looking this up. <laughs> okay, I I already wrote it down, man. I really <laughs> like this bingo idea. We could do prizes like records or something like that, right? Yeah. Like, and yeah. then and then we just ask our podcast guests to to hang out to with us. Yeah. Absolutely. Sweet. Yes. What, 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 this is a sick brainstorming even, session. This, yeah. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> like one, just to think out loud is what we could do if, for in the meantime is we could have our guests. Let's say we started this right now. We could have Sky pick three random bingo card numbers right now, but we'll have her on camera, right? 
So then each episode we get um, a host or a host, a guest to, you know, go with three numbers. And then let's say in six months we mash them or when we have 52 numbers, then we just edit it all together so that they're all picking three numbers. And then they're after you sell the cards there, whoever has those numbers wins kind of thing. Does yeah. That make sense? Uh, but then you can rig it. I don't think people like that. Oh, true. Because uh, then, because then have to I be pretty quick to like. Yeah, then it's not live, the... right? Yeah. Yeah, and if yeah. and if I if I see the tickets before I send them out and I send them out to a friend, I can make sure that Sky names that number and then yeah. that person. Is, so I mash that video together and then that person wins. So yeah, you're right. It what my, what my uncle did for the curling club one is that he would have like, you know, guest announcers, but once they got a certain number, there'd be like a little circle around a certain number. Once a, once they pulled that number, they'd be like, oh, there's a special call. Who could it be? And then they <laughs> like hash the call through <laughs> to the live stream and be like, oh, it's so-and-so here. I'm just going to call this number something. Oh, yeah. 69 or whatever. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh 69. So <laughs> why did I pick that one? I know why I picked that one. I know why. Hilarious. I know why. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah no, so that's is... an option. Oh, man. More stuff to do. <laughs> I know. Well, this is this is definitely a New Year project. So Mark and I, we're, when were we talking about the calendars? Was that with Joe? Yeah. This was yeah, we were kind of trying to think of doing like maybe a, a funky moose calendar it'd be too late to do it for 2021 now but you know um a sit down podcast calendar so like yeah. we can have our guests per month or whatever or like the top That's viewed cool. guests in in that month and then just sell the calendars for like 10 or 20 bucks a piece kind of thing right yeah to totally. generate there's money. so much you can do because like then it it's, people connect with it just like they connected with that those episodes so yeah you keep that that connection going it's cool yeah. Oh, that's brilliant. Wicked. Man, we're awesome. <laughs> <laughs> but you have to, so when when we do this, Sky, you have to promise that you're going to come on and call for one one show, at least. Absolutely. 100%. Excellent. Cool. All right, yeah. you, you guys heard it here. Done deal. <laughs> we got you on tape. <laughs> <laughs> on tape. Did yeah. you high five yeah. yourself? I did, yeah. <laughs> I can't get a high five otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> Da 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 da